Welcome to NCIX Tech Tips. The AMD Kaveri Series APUs are a great platform for low-cost gaming, but there are many improvements and upgrades that you can make to an onboard graphics setup for not a lot of money to dramatically improve performance. So today, we'll be comparing various simple upgrades that you can make to maximize your gaming experience with one of these. I mean, it doesn't have to sit on a test bench like this. It could actually be in a case, but the point, the point is this chip right here. Now, when it comes to system memory, most people settle for that sweet spot speed. These days, that's DDR3 1600 megahertz and call it a day. However, due to the way an APU works, the onboard graphics rely on your system's memory as video memory. And as such, faster memory can equate to more frames per second in scenarios where it's bottlenecked by memory speed. So our test bench consists of the latest in AMD Kaveri technology, an A10 7850K processor, an ASUS A88X MA motherboard, and a Kingston V300 SSD. And now at the time of this video, an average eight gig kit of memory such as the HyperX Fury lineup costs around 90 bucks. Kingston also offers much faster speeds for not that much more money. In fact, this Kingston HyperX Predator DDR3-2400 kit only costs $110. So, for $20 extra, what do you get? In this case, a whopping 25% improvement. That's right, for two easy payments of $9.99, you get one of the easiest upgrades possible when it comes to computers. With Battlefield 4 running at 1920 by 1080 on the low preset, we happily jump from an average of 30 FPS to 38 FPS. And more importantly, bring our minimum FPS into smoother territory as well. We even notice less stutter during very intense explosions and particle effects. Come on down, thank you very much. Anyway, but what if you wanna have even more performance than that? APUs have a feature called dual graphics, where you compare your APU's graphics chip with its discrete video card sort of counterpart. So here we have an R7250, which is the same chip in the 7850K processor itself. No, it isn't. What on earth are you talking about? Anyway, it's a compatible architecture. It costs around $100, and running in dual graphics mode gives you an FPS boost. Lo and behold, our average frame rate jumps to 46 with lows of 28. This is a good upgrade. That's a very big performance boost, but the performance per dollar actually isn't that great. In fact, it comes up to $6.25 per one FPS boost. Memory speed, it should be noted, made very little difference when we were running in dual graphics mode compared to when we were just running the onboard graphics, so we stuck with cheaper memory this time around. However, there are other upgrade plans. If you're adding a graphics card, what happens if you go with a bit of a higher end card instead of an entry level one in dual graphics mode? This one won't run in dual graphics and can only run by itself, but for 150 bucks, well, now you've got a very powerful system that can even take advantage of higher refresh rate monitors. Uh, alternatively, if you're running on a 60 hertz monitor, you can crank up your settings and still get smooth gameplay on the high preset. Compared to the the dual graphics mode upgrade, a 260X will only cost you about a buck 15 per one FPS increase, and you'll get access to, you know, I don't know, it being a dedicated graphics card and just generally being better. You don't have to use any of your system memory as onboard memory, so that can all be freed up and all of that good stuff, as well as support for things like um, AMD's Raptor with their game DVR technology that allows you to automatically record the last 10 minutes of your gameplay so you can upload it to Twitch or cut it together and Premiere and upload that to YouTube or whatever it is you do with your gameplay footage. The point is, right now that's not supported in dual graphics mode, and it is with the discrete GPU. So as usual, the answer is buy a real graphics card. Thank you for watching. Comment below letting us know, is this something you already knew? Is this something that was enlightening for you today? Like the video if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe to NCIX Tech Tips for more videos like this and all of that good stuff.